All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Losers bracket round six fight. Saw some shells going off, but I guess they're still moving. Okay, so mm -hmm. <laughs> I had, had a bit of a scare for a sec. Like, yep. oh my god, restart. Yep, yep. Let's take a look at no cap versus Elser. Uh, no cap up a game. This is a best of three. Let's take a look at no cap's lineup. We've got 3x bank account and a Cox build gearing, aggro's Ragnar in a typical build. Uh, microaggressions and also typical build. Lothair has dropped his Des Moines in favor of a Wooshda with unique upgrade. Gives Ooh. him an extra of each consumable, mm -hmm. and they reload faster. Very helpful for anti-air. Hmm. Yes. Um, Mr. Bean in, is behind them in the Stalingrad once again. Uh, this is a range Stalingrad, and there's Burger King in his uh, sniper build Vermont. Pitbull is on the other side, heading uh, towards the A-cap with a St. Vincent this time, mm -hmm. uh, with a bit of a speedy speed stuff. Apetron in front of him, and that San Martin again. And one-for-one one gaming in a Stalingrad, uh, making an early turn in to try to cover uh, the, the B-cap for his buddy, Microaggressions Daring. Raptor, what do we have for ELSR to the south? It's going to be interesting, Zath, because I already noticing that the two Stalingrads on the no-cap lineup, I don't think we've seen a team the entire event field more than one. At least I haven't. Mm -hmm. um, ELSR popping uh, two quick speedy boy speed boosts here. Quincy's Kleber, gun reload, and Ayase's Kleber, gun reload. Um, Kleber, uh, Ayase running um, fearless brawler, Quincy not, but... Both of them, they're going to speed boost over to A, grab that as quick as they can, as the Marceau, that Sky Cancer, does, the, performs the same trick over here on the C cap. So, yes, ELSR is going to oh. absolutely start with a quick early advent, uh, early cap advantage. How about the fact Quincy's running IFHE? You see that? On his on a Kleber. Yeah. Now, what thresholds would you be trying to get over with the French 135, Zath? I'm trying to think about that for a second. 139s. No, 139s. Yeah. But still, I'm like... I gotta, I gotta run the numbers on that one. I'll do that in a minute. Anyway, um, keeping a look over at the ACAP, we're backed up by Akura's Manitar running his radar there. RPF and concealment, of course. Apex is Vermont. Basically similar build to what we saw last time. Jakumi's Moskva, excuse me, Izumi's Moskva hanging here towards mid. Now, he's flipped around, so he's stern in with his guns yep. looking towards C. Yep. Just off to his port side, 8952's Montana. In, um, well, that nice, typical American uh, double artillery plotting build with um, turret traverse in uh, second slot and a little bit of survivability skills on the high end. And then, of course, Luger's Harugamo in the smoke build headed over here, actually trailing behind Inori's Minotaur. Uh, these two did some really good work last game, obviously paired up here again as we may have some early contact. Sky Cancer pushing very deep up the 10 lines at. Yep. Very there's aggressive. The radar. There's the radar. Yep. There's the radar. So IFHG will pen 27 millimeters of armor for the clay bear. So versus, trying to, versus what? Versus 22, 23. So you're trying to get over, I guess, heavy, light, cruiser. heavy cruiser, heavy cruiser bow armor. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. All right. Uh, I can so for example, maybe the San Martin. I can kind of see it. I can kind of see it. Quick reminder, bands for this game are uh, Gdansk and Des Moines. Mm-hmm. I really like the aggression from ELSR on this game to get so both do I. caps so early. So do I. Because now, you know, and this is something that we used to see very commonly when we would watch 07 play on NA, Zath, right? They would take a three destroyer lineup, three or four, but usually three, one destroyer to each cap. They would try to grab as much territory as they could, as quickly as they could, and then it became a matter of, okay, now you have to fight your way back in to take away the points advantage that we built over you. And already... Four minutes in, it's a 100-point lead and growing for ELSR. Yeah, hey, take a look at the 10 line real quick. Yeah, I'm here. Wow, aggro stuck bow in, trying to Homer Simpson his way out of this trouble. <laughs> nope, nope. Kind of try and fade back into the back into the, the shrubbery. Not able yes. to do it. Taking a huge chunk of his HP for his trouble. As Inori actually turning out of the smoke so they can get the torpedoes downrange. Looking to see if, nope, Montana's shells are coming in for Agro's Ragnar. You know, Zath, one of the things that I look as I look at the map, the big map view, ELSR doesn't care about the B cap. No. They just don't not. care. They're going to own, they're, nope. their plan is to own A and C and keep no cap off of them 
And uh, no cap has deployed a lot of stuff to mid. I got two Solons of Vermont, a Daring lurking around here. For the moment, all of that kind of wasted. Well, also notice uh, Izumi's Moskva is now pointed north with his bow. Yes. Originally, he was pointed south, so they actually turned him around. They did. Said, turn, no, 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 go here instead. Turn him around, snuggled him up to the island, so now they've got two different radars capable of helping yes. them defend C. Now, they only have kind of the one-ish radar. That's a Kura's Minotaur over here, able to help them defend A. Now, Kleber, Ayase, is being rotated towards the middle. Well, I have a feeling they're they're sussing a push from no cap through the mid, but I, I'm not sure. Apetron, so again, San Martin typically signals a kite away plan or, or right. positioning, right? right. So, so that means, okay, that's going to be their light side. And so if no cap, if that's their light side, then I would imagine ELSR says, okay, hey, then they must be pushing heavy C. But that's not happening. They stopped that push. Mm -hmm. So now what? And I think the now what is microaggressions. Look at him. Yep. Here he comes. Now he's not. He's still just outside the range of the Minotaur radar. I suspect that they know. I believe they've seen. Well, they may not know Akura's down there. He doesn't have to take any damage. So maybe they haven't spotted him yet. Micro is inside the Minotaur radar bubble here. As Ayase is lit. I'm mm -hmm. sort of waiting. I think they're waiting for Micro to get onto the cap to bring in the Minotaur radar. Yeah, and I asked that getting detected early like that might convince no cap to pull microaggressions out. We'll have to see. Um, he should have been. Well, Apetron just got smacked. Yep. Apetron's Caesar. playing. Yeah, Apetron's playing a very dangerous game. You know, he's in a long range. I won't say I call it a duel, but the Vermont, as long as he fires, the Vermont has possible shells on him, and that's never a comfortable place to be. Yes. Now, earlier... There's the radar yep. for Micro. For Micro. Yep. Yep. A little late, though. Apex Captain Caesar's already moving away. Looks like they're going to rely on Akura to push him off. Nope. There come the Klebers. There come the Vermont. Everyone's mm -hmm. shooting at Micro mm -hmm. now. Solid hit from the Vermont. Torpedo's coming in on Quincy. Yep. They're going to take a huge chunk of Micro's health away for this little move. Stalingrad on the Minotaur. Oh, big hit there. Yep. That's a range Stalin back in mid is Mr. Bean. I'm sorry. That's one for one that's Stalin. One for one. My apologize. Wrong oh, Stalin. Wait, there's more. Here comes a Burger King salvo for the Minotaur. Yeah, but it's only the one turret. Oh, no. Here it is. I see it now. It's mm -hmm. all. Unfortunately, didn't lead it quite right. Yep. Okura saw those and started moving forward. Another big hit, though, on him. Okura now dark. It's a 250 in point lead and still continuing to grow for ELSR. For the moment, no cap firmly on the back foot, trying to break into A. They seem to have completely given up on C. They've put all their eggs into that A basket, Zaf. Mm -hmm. It's all on also, micro. Chat, chat reminded me too, IFHE is also useful against the Ragnar with 25 millimeter plating. Ah, okay. I could see it. I could see it. Yeah, totally. That makes yep. perfect sense. It does. It does indeed. It's all on so, Ragnar. Uh, He's now back into the cap. How about Apetron backing up and taking two torpedoes? Oops. With Hydro With, with Hydro up. Yikes. Yikes, indeed. Well, ELSR not sitting on their laurels. Micro's going to grab A, but they've moved Ayase out here into B. He's going to snuggle up directly behind this island. They might be able to reset him with one for one before he can get there, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Nope. He's going to dive the island, get right up next to it, and he's perfectly safe. So they're going to surrender A, but they're going to grab B. So we're going to have a cap flop here. That'll keep things ticking along nicely for ELSR. Mm, aggro's in big trouble. No cap can't afford to lose a ship this far behind. No. No more heals on him. 300 points and continuing to fall behind is no cap here in game two. ELSR just practicing textbook beautiful board control. Mm-hmm. I love that clip. I love uh, Ayase just going in to be yeah. Say, All right, yeah. Well, you, again, you, you got nothing. You pulled the daring off of the mid. Fine, we'll send the we'll send the we'll send the clip air in. Have fun with it. Yep. Captain he's, Caesar just took a pretty decent chunk there from Pitbull, but he's still alive. Ninety seconds in the timer now. 
They're going to have to do more than this. It's going to take more than this it, for no cap. No cap needs to bag a kill, but good Lord, Zath. ELSR is so healthy across the board. Where are they going to get one? Darn, Raptor. I guess we're just going to have to go to a game three. Seems like it. I mean, mm. right now, I don't see I don't see a way for no cap to get back into this without ELSR royally screwing up somewhere. Yeah. Luck Chuck Torps plus something right. else. And it's the plus part that's really, yeah. Inari caught on radar, but there's nobody who's going to, nothing big enough that's going to have shots, right? The Wooster is the biggest thing Inori's up against over here on the eight line. And man, he'll just shrug off the Wooster Salvo. He don't care about that. Oh, yep. Mr. Bean moving forward into the B cap. He's getting sitted out by Zumi's Moscow. Oh, smacked hard. He's broad. He's, I want to say he's basically broadside of the Moscow. More AP coming well, in. He'll be lucky to survive this. Yeah, he knows he needs to get into this. It's uh, not going to happen. Just stop the point gain. It's not going to happen. Nope. Vermont's going to Vermont's going to come in and seal that deal. And now 10 seconds on the timer. It's all over. It's all over, Zath. Absolutely, yes. ELSR in control of this game from pole to pole. There it is. This this reminds me a little bit of some of the games that we saw the first few times that the French destroyers started to filter into King of the Sea, right? Teams would do mm -hmm. exactly this. They would take mm -hmm. they would take a French destroyer off to each flank, pick up the cap as quick as they could and put just tremendous pressure on their opponents and basically say, "All right, you're behind on points already. Now what are you going to do?" Yeah. Yeah. And and no cap taking their time almost almost a opposite of what we saw the first game. Uh, really playing a very more cautious game, just unable to to make it work. Um, so we'll go to game three, see what happens. All right, back to the studio. See you guys in a minute.